What is the ROI return on investment when applying the midterm rental insurance strategy? If you're anything like me, you're all about the numbers. And that's why this opportunity made so much sense for us in the first place. Let's talk about one thing that we don't really factor into the ROI. One, it's the peace of mind. Having been an Airbnb operator, when we switched to the midterm rental insurance space, it was less headaches, less turnover, less what is this? I just checked in and I see something funky. If you've been in the hospitality space long enough, which we are in the hospitable hospitality space, as soon as somebody lays a head on your pillow, you're officially in the hospitality space. We know that as increased turnover happens, increased risk, increased risk for errors, increased risk for uh, unsatisfaction. So one of the things that we got having midterm rental insurance customers stay in our homes for multiple lengths of stay is we've also seen that the level of tolerance or at least patience with them or even headaches for lack of better words is just slim to none, right? These folks are coming in from a place where they can no longer live in their home. And so their, their lens as an avatar is completely different. They are super grateful, thankful, rightfully so. It's very different than someone who's coming in for three days or seven days or two days who expect everything to be perfect because they paid top dollars for those days. So the return on, we should say, ROP, return on peace is high. <laughs> However, let's talk about the real numbers, ROI, return on investment. The thing is, one thing you need to be very familiar with, and if this is your first time watching my content or video, definitely make sure you watch the video that says how to even calculate how much I should charge and what is the 20% rule and why is it important? The 20% rule defines how much we can actually charge. How do we do this? Well, let's take a step back here. What's happening is that the displaced family that's coming to relocate in your property, right? Your investment property is coming from a like kind home. What that means is when an insurance or temporary relocation company, the insurance company, the adjuster, who is, whoever is working with the family to relocate them in a home, they're looking for a like kind home. They usually base them on square footage. They also look at the room numbers, right? So if they're coming from a four bedroom home, they're going to try to find them a four bedroom home. Now that four bedroom home has a value. Now it goes back to the video that I talked about, about the 20% rule, but just to give you a level of context, if they're moving you from a four bedroom home into or moving that family from a four bedroom home into your four bedroom investment property or Airbnb that you're now transitioning with this information into a midterm rental insurance play you how do I know what to charge and what is my ROI well here's a rule of thumb it's rule of 20 however much the coverage a which is the dwelling value aka you can just do some napkin math and, and for the interest of making it simple, it's usually what your property value is worth, the investment property that you own. If you take 20% of that, 20 to 30% of that and divide it by 12, if you want, if you will, even by eight or six, based on the length of time they're going to relocate with you, that's how much you can actually charge, right? So that means that if it was a $400,000 home, and you have 20% of that is about 80, 80K and a family was relocating for three months, it would not be unreasonable for you to be able to charge a heck of a premium, like ups in the 20,000s of dollars per month. Now, whatever your ROI is will be based on what is your overhead, right? So how much is your mortgage? What are your utilities, etc. So with the right midterm rental insurance relocation case that comes your way and I say that very strategically when I say comes your way, really that you're going to go and get or optimize to get for, that's the ROI, right? So the ROI can be well, well past two to five X what you would traditionally make as a traditional rental and or two to five X your mortgage. So you do the math on that because if you get a family even in there for six months, which is not unreasonable because they typically work takes longer than it should. So even a three month can turn into a six month, a six month can turn into a nine month. That is the return on investment. And this is why we've gone all in to this space. Now we've gotten anywhere in the upwards from, you know, 150% plus ROI. I mean, it's cash on cash return. It is pretty insane how crazy the numbers can get in this space. It's all relative to the value of your home. We recently had a gentleman that I know, a 5k overhead, 
and got a 17 grand, $17,000 a month per month. Okay. Another one of my mastermind students has an overhead of 2,700, just got a $9,600 uh, dollar a month contract one of our properties our overhead is 2400 we got eight thousand dollars a month for the next eight months these are the kind of opportunities with respect to the value of your home and your overhead what is the roi i mean you can make one month booking will cover almost three mortgages to four if done properly and if you know how to optimize which there's tons of content on this page of how you can do that and obviously more that you can find by grabbing my experimentrealestate.com go to experimentrealestate.com to grab the mtr insurance blueprint but for those who want to run the numbers if i've gotten your chat your, your attention yet have i are you not entertained run the numbers do the math help families solve a big problem and you will be highly compensated for doing so